So guys, for the first step, you wanna get into this screen. Now to get here, you wanna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As soon as it turns on, you wanna turn it off again and then turn it back on again. You want to repeat this three times. So you wanna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As soon as it turns on, you wanna turn it off again and then turn it back on again. You want to repeat this three times and then on the fourth time, when you turn your computer on again, it will then take you into this screen. It's gonna be saying that your PC did not start correctly. You want to click on advanced options. And now once we're on this, there's a few things that we can try. So for the first method, you wanna click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then start to prepare. It's now gonna start diagnosing your PC, wait for this to load. It's now gonna start attempting repairs. It's now gonna boot you back into Windows, see if that works for you. If that's still not working, then you wanna come back into this screen like I show you how to do at the start of the video. And now once you're on this, you want to click on Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, and this time, Command Prompt. And now once we're here, you want to type in SFC space forward slash scan now, and I click on Enter. And you now want to run this scan. Wait for this to load. I'm going to skip the video to when the scan will be fully completed. And now once that's been done, now you want to type in chkdsk space c colon space full slash f space full slash r and I click on enter and you now want to run this scan as well wait for this to load and now once that's been done we can now close out of this and now you want to continue to windows see if that works for you for the next method you want to come back into this screen and I click on troubleshoot advanced options and this time system restore if you have any restore points available on your computer then you want to click on next and then go back to your restore point if not we're going to click on cancel for the next method, you wanna click on Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, and then Uninstall Updates. You want to uninstall the latest quality update, and then click on Uninstall Quality Update. If it uninstalled for you, see if that works. In my case, it didn't do anything, so I'm gonna click on Close. For the last method, you wanna click on Troubleshoot, and then Reset this PC. If you don't have your important files backed up, then you wanna click on Keep My Files. If you do have your files backed up, you want to click on remove everything. After you select your option, you want to follow through the steps and then reset your computer. This should not fix your problem.